Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to PA Street Scene. My name is Derek and I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe and also that notification bell so you can keep up to date on the status of my R32 project. Um, I did take a little time off for the Easter and Passover holidays, so I hope that you guys had an awesome holiday. Um, and it is pretty nice. We are uh, sitting at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday and I wanted to make a video about the newest upgrades I'm doing to the R32. Um, I got some goodies in the mail that I wanted to share and I'm pretty excited about it. If you follow me on Instagram at uh, at PA Street Scene, you would know that I've been teasing for a couple days about my wheels. Um, they have arrived. Um, and I also got some goodies from ECS Tuning um, that came the other day. We got some new plastic lug nut covers. They're kind of hard to see in the bag, but there's about 20 in there. Um, for wanted to replace a bunch of them. And also these seven millimeter spacers from ECS Tuning, which I was told I was going to need for the new wheels because we got 1552 Turbo Max. These are an 18 by 9 and they are the Turbo Max design in silver and they just came in last week. I'm so excited to finally get them on the car. We just mounted the tires on them yesterday. Big shout out to my buddy Reed at LB Smith Ford in Lemoyne for hooking me up with the, the mounting and balancing of these wheels. Um, he did it super quick and kind of on a weird timetable so I am appreciative of that. These are going on um, some Sumitomo tires, um, the size on them is a 255, I believe. I'm losing my mind today. Um, yes, they are a 255, 35, 18. Um, so probably what we're going to need to do to put these on the car because it is sitting really low with these Oz Ultra Ligeras. Uh, let me zoom in here a little bit. Here we go. Um, these are actually on a 215 40 18 right now, which is actually too small for the wheel that is on the car that the previous owner had. They're actually stretched a bit. I don't know if you can see it here, but it is a bit of an aggressive stretch. Um, although I'm not a big fan of stretching tires at all, just because it's kind of dangerous and it makes it hard for uh, shops to say yes to working on your car. So today I think I'm going to try and raise up the coilovers about an inch see where that puts us, and get the new wheels and tires mounted. I'm pretty excited to see what they look like, so let's get started. All right guys, well this video just got a lot shorter. Um, basically what happened was I was putting the wheels on, uh, mounting the spacers. I do think the seven millimeter spacers are gonna work out. Um, we're gonna have to do a full fit just to make sure um, because there could be a little bit of issue with the coilovers and the tires. Um, I hope I don't need to go with a much larger spacer, but I really want these wheels. They're the only wheels that I've wanted since I bought this car, so I'm gonna have to make them work. And luckily it's not my daily driver. Um, it's just gonna be a play car, so not a huge deal if um, I don't drive it that often, but I was really hoping to get the wheels on today. It's the first decent weather we've had in a while. Um, but yeah, needless to say, I forgot to order the hub-centric rings, so they are on order now, and I will have them, and we will mount the wheels on the car in a later video. Um, however, with that said, I thought maybe we could go over some of the plans I have for the car. Um, I did get the radio button spray painted from the last video. That's been working out great. Um, we've had really cold weather here and I don't typically have garage space. Today I lucked out um, thanks to a friend, but um, haven't had a chance for the weather to really warm up well enough to finish sewing the seam on that seat back together. So hopefully once it warms up I can do that or if I get impatient I might just try it with either a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, I do plan to take the back seats out of the car um, basically the overall impression I want for this car is kind of, if I was building this car for my 17 year old self, you know, I grew up around the time when the Fast and the Furious movies were starting to hit, and no, that doesn't mean I'm going to load the car up with, you know, NOS and stickers, but, uh, I am going to kind of go a little crazy with it. Um, like I said, it's not my daily driver, it's a fun car. 
I am in love with the Volkswagen scene. I have been for many years since I have my old uh, Mark IV Volkswagen Golf. It was just a 2.0. Um, and I went a little overboard with that. But uh, this one, I kind of want to go in a different direction. But yeah, I really want to build it kind of like what I would have done had I had the money um, and, you know, the availability of money and parts and things like that back when I was a teenager. So I have some crazy plans. This car is definitely not going to be OEM Plus. So for the people in the Volkswagen community that are all about OEM Plus, I really respect it. I think it looks great. Just not for me. I've never been that kind of a person. So I've made some calls recently. I have some awesome stuff coming up soon. Um, a major change is coming to the car uh, within about the next two and a half weeks, which is going to be great. Um, it's actually going to be an all-day filming event while it's being done. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of going for um, sort of a, a WRC kind of Jim Connor look with the car, which is kind of why I picked the Turbo Mac wheels. Um, I'm going with a very bold color choice here in a couple of weeks. And basically, uh, my overall goal for this car is I kind of want it to look like a giant remote control car. Um, I've already installed this ridiculously large antenna on it, which I think is hilarious. Um, it had a carbon fiber stubby on it when I bought it, and that was like the first thing to go. Um, I apologize for the wobbly camera. But yeah, I just kind of want it to be a fun car that I can play around with that makes people, you know, talk and, you know, maybe makes people happy. I don't know, but it's going to make me happy. So, <laughs> and I was kind of inspired to build it this way. Um, actually, based on David Patterson, um, you guys might know him as that dude in blue. When he built his 240, he kind of said, you know, if I would have built this car when I was a teenager, this is kind of how I would have built it. And that's kind of my goal for this car. So it's not going to be as low as it is right now. It's still going to be fairly low, but especially with these tires, it's going to have a little bit more of a, a WRC kind of Jim Connor stance, maybe not quite that high. Um, but yeah, I think it's just going to be a fun car and everything I'm doing isn't going to ruin it or, you know, it's nothing that's going to damage the car or be a permanent change. So, you know, I'm sure there's going to be lots of people once they see some of the things I have planned that are going to be like, you ruined your car. And everything on a car can be, taken back of you know to stock if I was ever going to sell it which I highly doubt I plan on pretty much keeping this car forever um but yeah probably before the next video happens I'm going to attempt to sew that seat up I'm also taking out the back seats because this isn't going to be a passenger vehicle by any stretch um and I'm going to work on getting these wheels and tires fitted and hopefully uh you guys enjoy the content that's coming up and I think it's time to clean up here and go wash the car so I'll see you in a few seconds Alright guys, I just finished washing the car. I had to uh, actually jump start it before that because I had been using the radio while I was doing the wheels and tires and it managed to kill the battery. So I'm not sure if that means the battery is bad or if it was just a matter of me having it on too long without starting it again. Um, either of which could be issues, but I'll look into that this week and I might just invest in an Optima and get it over with. Um, in the meantime, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I was hoping that this was going to be a bit more exciting and I would have, you know, glamour shots of the new wheels on the car, but unfortunately that's just part of the learning curve with wheels and tires and fitment, I'm kind of trying to figure all that out. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great week. Next weekend starts car show season officially in this area, so hopefully every weekend I should have some kind of coverage for you along with progress updates on the R32. So keep an eye out. Like I said before, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again. Have a great week.